Hey friends and happy Easter. Today is Easter Sunday and we are spending it here at the Magic Kingdom. We are gonna ride some rides. We're gonna get ourselves a nice little Easter dinner. Hopefully catch the Easter Bunny Parade that they have and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a little bit hot out today. Temperatures in the low 90s. And like I said, they're gonna have a special happy Easter parade and hopefully we're gonna catch it. I hear the Easter Bunny is gonna be on the floats and I'm just excited for the day. This is something cool because the Dapper Dans have been up on the train station or on a cavalcade for the longest time and now they're back on the street performing like they used to perform and I'm so excited to see that. The Dapper Dans are back on Main Street and Winnie the Pooh and friends are up on the train station and they're all dressed up. You can see Piglet's a butterfly and Winnie the Pooh is a little bee and I like that. And soon the character meet and greets will be back. I think tomorrow's the day. I'm very excited for Easter dinner tonight. I broke it down to two different options. Either it's going to be Liberty Tree Tavern, which I love going to basically for any holiday, or the Plaza, because I feel like that's a really nice Easter restaurant. There's just something about the Plaza restaurant that I just see it and I think Easter, just around the corner. We'll decide a little bit later on where we're gonna eat. Luckily, being a party of one, it's actually really easy to get to walk up reservations. Uh, now I think we're gonna ride some rides. I know that the parade is at 2.50. They had two different parades, one in the morning, one in the evening. So we're gonna catch the later parade and just see what the crowds are like. Hopefully it's not too busy. I think we're gonna start our day here in Tomorrowland. Check the wait times and try to ride something. It is a holiday, so it may be busy. I mean, I don't know any holidays that aren't busy, so expect long wait times, but we might get lucky. I think a good, ooh. I think a good Easter Sunday ride to start with is probably the People Mover. And I don't think it's a long wait. I think it's only about maybe 10 minutes, so we're gonna hop right on. That was only like 10 minutes. That's not too bad. Look, there's our buddy, the orange cone. We made it on the people mover and then it kind of went down a little bit. So we're just hanging out here. Oh. Did he say immediately? Or are we gonna go in a couple minutes? Looks like we were moving anyway. Oh, and also, take a look at Tron really coming along there. Happy Easter! <laughs> Mr. Tom Morrow, please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Well, that was fun. A quick little trip on the people mover. Now I think we're going to cut over to Fantasyland and uh, see what some more wait times are like. Since it's a hot day out today, I thought it would be good to get myself a little slushy. So I came over to the Cheshire Cafe and got an all mixed up slushy. Look at this. It looks so fruity, doesn't it? Honestly, it's like a perfect Easter beverage. A little strawberry green tea slushy, whipped cream and sprinkles. And like I said, doesn't it just look so pretty like an Easter beverage? Ooh, I like it. I'm really shocked at how quick this isn't melting too. Like, it, it was frozen, and I've been walking around with it. I made my way up to Fantasyland because I wanted to see what the wait time for Seven Doors Mine Train was, and it's a 105-minute wait on Easter Sunday, and I can't believe it hasn't melted yet. Now that we had a really delicious slushy, and it was a, a green tea slushy, I think we're gonna go find ourselves a spot for the parade and then get ready for dinner. I think I finally decided on Liberty Tree. I do love the plaza, but I feel like Liberty Tree just for the holidays is perfect. So we're gonna go get a spot that uh, picked out for the uh, Easter parade and then uh, grab some Din Din. Oh boy, I've never been over here before when they were doing this.
kind of scary actually. Since we're going to be coming right over here to the Liberty Tree Tavern immediately after the parade, I figured we'd watch it in Frontierland. The parade's going to start any minute now, so we got to find a spot. And I kind of wanted to get uh, in the shade. I don't want to be standing out uh, just directly in the sun. So we'll see, maybe right here. Oh my, here it comes and it is adorable. Look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, magical! <laughs> I love it. Oh, there's more coming. I love that parade. It was so awesome. The confetti, the pink hippos. It was really good. I love the, the music too. I'm so happy I came out here today. And now it's time for Liberty Tree Tavern and I'm excited. As we were making our way over though, I wanted to stop here to cool off for a second. You guys ever do the shooting gallery here? It's free. They used to charge 25 cents. Look at this. Now it's free play and you get to just shoot all of these, and uh, it's really cool. I think we're gonna do it. I think I'm gonna aim for the tombstone there. Boom. Devoted to Sweet Sue. And they also have this, like, this little bridge right here. Ooh, it turns on a rattlesnake. The shooting arcade is really fun and it's free to do, so I don't know why anybody would walk by without actually going in there and participating a little bit. Now it's time for the Liberty Tree Tavern, finally! I know I said that already a couple times, but we're checked in. Here it is, 
the Liberty Tree Tavern. $39 for adults, $21 for children, three to nine. And it's a colonial menu, all you care to enjoy. Has roast turkey, pot roast, card pork, vegetables, house-made stuffing, house-made macaroni and cheese, ooey gooey toffee cake, all of the fixings, and I am going to love it. <laughs> We're gonna head inside and kind of soak up some of the AC. Ooh. I know I come here a lot, guys, but I really do love it. <laughs> all right, we made it to our table, and I have to say, out of all the times I have ever been here, this is the best table I have ever gotten. And we're in the Benjamin Franklin room, and I've never been in this room, so it's really cool. There are several different presidential rooms in Liberty Tree Tavern, and I've never been in the Benjamin Franklin room. Look at this. Got a nice little picture of Benjamin Franklin here, and then our table is right over here, and I got like a nice little window spot. Look at this. Isn't this so nice? A uh, perfect Easter setting. Like I said before, it's $39, and that includes your soft drink. So I always get Arnold Palmer's. I just love them. A little unsweet tea with some lemonade. But you can get, uh, like, beer and stuff. They have a, a Liberty Tree adult beverage menu, and I'll show you that in a second. And then the rest of the stuff just comes out. But I do give you a little pro tip, and I do this every time. I always ask for french fries with gravy. If you don't ask, they won't give them to you. But I love it. I love french fries and gravy. I love gravy fries. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Looks like they got some Sam Adams, they've got some Angry Orchard, some Bud Light, some Michelob Ultra, some wine, a lot of good stuff, but I'm just going to stick to the tea. Stick to the uh, lemonade tea. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the uh, food because I've eaten here so many times and uh, if you guys have been watching for a while, uh, I've given like full, full tours of the, the food, but I will show you a little bit of everything. First things first, we're gonna get ourselves some dinner rolls. We gotta get the bread, but we can't eat too much bread. We got a lot of meat and potatoes coming our way and some stuffing. I really don't think there's anything like too special about these rolls. I mean, they're okay, but I don't wanna eat all of them because like I said, then you're not gonna, you're gonna miss out on the good stuff. You need to, you need to save room for the good stuff, but I'll still pick at them, you know, one or two at a time. It would be so cool if you could actually see outside these windows. They have them kind of glazed over, but we could sit here and probably watch Festival of Fantasy if we wanted to. Oh, you can kind of see it out of that one window right there, but that's about it. All right, it is time. The food is here, and wait till you see this spread. Look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We've got turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, pot roast, pork, mushroom gravy, green beans, Here's the french fries, the mac and cheese, and then the gravy boat. And this is what I do with the gravy boat. Look at this. Much too good. <laughs> Everything looks so good, but we're gonna dive into the french fries first. There's just something about these french fries. You know, Disney usually has like a regular french fry that they usually use in all the quick service locations. But these are the most different french fries, like texture wise, you know what I mean? They're not steak fries, they're not really thin fries. I'm not even too sure what to call them, but I don't find french fries like this anywhere else on property, except for here at Liberty Tree Tavern. Now, they could be serving these french fries over at Skipper Canteen because a lot of people don't know this, but it's the same kitchen. Same kitchen as Skipper Canteen, as Liberty Tree Tavern, and as Club 33. It's all one big, gigantic kitchen. Now, they have different areas of the kitchen that prepare different food items, but it's just a really massive, rounded kitchen. At least, that's what I have been told. And now that we've gotten some french fries taken care of, I think we're gonna dive into the turkey, turkey and stuffing. There we go, doesn't this turkey look so good? The only thing is, what I'm missing is I always traditionally had ham on Easter, but I really didn't think of anywhere I can find like carved ham at Disney property. So I guess turkey and pork is the next best thing. Ha, <laughs> turkey and pork. <laughs> I'm also not the biggest fan of the mushroom gravy on the pork, so normally I ask for it without, but I forgot this time, and I'm probably not going to get more. You can get as much as you want, but turkey gravy all the way. Or the brown gravy, if you like brown gravy. So, first bite. The turkey's good, but it's missing something. Well, there we go. 
Now we need to get some of these green beans. Look at this. Oh. Now on to the pot roast. Look at this. Little pot roast, little mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, I like it. Look at this pot roast though. It's just so good. I think they serve this pot roast over at Skipper Canteen too, but they call it something else. <laughs> they try to get a little trickery on you. I mean, I get mashed potatoes on there as well. Scoop seed potato. Joe Gatto, be proud. Are you guys team brown gravy or team turkey gravy? I don't know, I kind of like them both, but I would prefer turkey. And we definitely have to save room for the sticky toffee pudding. The sticky toffee pudding is so good. There we go, now to the pork. Oh. <laughs> I think out of all the meats though, the, the pork is probably my least favorite on the plate. Like I really love the pot roast, but the turkey is what I like the most. And now it's time for the sticky toffee. Look at this. Oh boy. I love the way that the uh, sauce just runs off the ice cream like that. We're going to dive in and go for our first bite. Ooh. Oh. This is the good stuff right here. The good, good stuff. I love it. This is so good. And I, you know what's funny is because the toffee on the bottom kind of gets a little bit hard. Like it's ooey gooey. But on the outside it's still hard because of the ice cream. And I love it. Like I could just eat the toffee on its own. Let alone having a little ice cream with it as well. That was good. I had to throw in the towel. And when I came out, the Mickey Cavalcade is coming down. Look at that! There's Goof, Minnie, and then Mickey and Chippendale should be coming right behind. Oh wow, Mickey's going at it right there. Look at him, there he is! Wow, that is awesome. There's magic everywhere! I have to say though, coming out of Liberty Tree Tavern, after you eat that meal, and then getting greeted with the heat and the sun again, and it takes a lot out of you. I feel whooped right now. I feel really whooped. So uh, I think I'm gonna go ride a ride. I was thinking maybe Splash Mountain. Like I would love to, we gotta see what the wait time's like though. Here is a look at the wait time. Space Mountain's 40 minutes. Jungle Cruise is 80 minutes. Splash Mountain is 60 minutes. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, it's 120 minutes for uh, the uh, Seven Doors Mine Train. Haunted Mansion is 55 minutes though. 60 minutes, but I'm really questioning. I think it might be worth it. It smells so refreshing right now, and it would cool me down so much. Look at that. I love it. I think we're going for it. I think we're going for it. Maybe it might not be 60 minutes entirely. Maybe it might be a little bit less. I guess we're gonna find out. I'm starting to think we're in a little bit of trouble here, but we're in it. We're in it to win it. Well, we're almost there. Hit the 30 minute mark, but I can see it. We're close. It is so hot waiting in that queue outside, but once you get inside, the AC is phenomenal. The AC in Splash Mountain is amazing. But we have officially made it, and it took just about an hour. Last chance to exit, even though I just waited an hour, not gonna leave now, but I do like going up on that bridge, because it's a really cool perspective. Isn't that cool? Like one day I kind of want to come here just to go out and leave and not ride. Just so I can go up there and take a photo of this. Like, I love it. I think it's such a cool thing. It'd be an amazing photo. Also, it looks like we're doing the front row. Now some people say the front row is the worst or the back row might be the worst. Either way, you're going to get wet. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's going right in here. Keep your hands and arms and feet inside at all times. Oh, 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 wow. Don't normally get wet this early.
Critter elixir. <laughs> I can't believe I got wet already. Like that never happens. But being up here on the top, isn't it so peaceful? Very quiet. I like it. Lip and fall, coming down here. <laughs> Whoa. spot. <laughs> a little bit, it saved the camera, but it didn't save me. <laughs> the hat always saves the camera, but not me. <laughs> I definitely got wet. It's okay, because I secretly kind of wanted to get wet. Like, it was very uh, refreshing. Like, definitely needed a cool off. Oh, the waterfall's back on. Oh, I'm not sitting with anybody, so I get to scoot over to the left. Thank Oh. Let me tell you something, always get in first when you come ride Splash Mountain because when you get up here, you're gonna get hit with water from that waterfall. Oop, they actually just shut the waterfall off since we were sitting here like this. Because if you're stuck right there, you're just getting hit with water the whole entire time, so they shut it off when you get backed up. Well, that's very nice of them. Oh, they're turning it back on. <laughs> oh, 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 now we're heading back in, here we go. To me, that was worth it. I had a lot of fun. I absolutely love that ride. It is really, really fun. And I'm excited to see when it gets uh, changed over to Princess and the Frog. I hear tell that when you drop down to the Laughing Place, you're actually gonna be dropping down into the underworld where friends are waiting for you on the other side. And I think that is a really cool concept. 
but now I'm still feeling really tired so I think we're gonna make our way out to the front of the park like I said combining food and heat and the busy crowds and I'm feeling it <laughs> Here is a look at the wait times for the days so far. Splash Mountain's at 70 minutes. Peter Pan's flight is 80 minutes. Seven Doors Mine Train is only 80 minutes. 25 minutes for Small World. 30 minutes for uh, Cinderella. This isn't too bad. Winnie the Pooh was 30 minutes. Space Mountain, 50 minutes. Buzz Lightyear, 40 minutes. Wow, this is a lot better than I expected. Now that we made our way back out to the front of the park, I want to show you guys a really cool perspective from the marching band because they're gonna be making their way down Main Street USA towards the castle and then turning and it's gonna be really cool because it's gonna look like they're marching right at us and I love this. Wasn't that really nifty seeing the marching band like march right down Main Street towards us? I really loved that and they turn right at the uh, center street there and I loved it. But I think now we are done for the day. Looks like there might be a little rain coming in too like as well. I love coming out for Easter. It was great going to Liberty Tree Tavern, seeing the Easter parade, just having a fun day here. A nice little Sunday at the park. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Easter and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.